All right, guys. I'm just doing some lizard stuff. I'll check over here. You guys see that? One of the eggs has hatched inside the tank. Looks like I didn't get it out quick enough. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do a little egg hunt here. And we're going to try to get this little fella out. But it's good to know that the, you know, habitat in there is suitable for hatching babies. All right, I got that little guy out. Here he is. Stressed, of course, but that's okay. He'll be all right. We're just going to leave him alone. Everyone else is doing good. There's four, five. We got seven babies now. Counting that little guy. There he goes. He's off. All right. I cleaned out this here enclosure. And we have found two eggs from our green anole. So we are going to fix up our little incubator here in just a second and get these in there. Here we've got our brown anole enclosure. There's one of them as you can see. But this is the enclosure that that baby was in that little he was just hanging out like right here or something like that but he was a brown and all that i left the eggs in there a little too long there might even be some in there still honestly but i have to dig it out you know dig out the substrate there and see if there are any eggs left but yeah we just fed this girl here she is hiding somewhere but yeah as you can see Got some calcium crickets because she is laying eggs. Yeah, we're gonna get these brown anoles here. Sneak peek. This is not an anole. This is a bearded dragon. But we're gonna get our anoles here. Some crickets with some calcium. And hopefully we can get a little clip of one of them eating. Here we've got our crickets. We're going to be feeding to the brown Cuban anoles here. Ooh. I think for now, it's just a little Oreo container. But I think for now, we're just going to dump a few out down there. A couple more left. Try to set them about there. But what I don't want is, there we go. I don't want all that extra powder in there, really. All the extra vitamins, so, yeah. Here we, you can see we've got our baby anoles. But if I can show you, it might look weird. Where'd he go? I just... That little guy in the back right underneath this little black like line there is the new baby that we just had hatch out yeah, that's not gonna look very good there but they're all doing good as you can see there's one there a little blurry but there we go that guy's pretty cool solid black almost there's another one so yeah they're looking good. That's our biggest one there. Oh, he's gone. But yeah, they're looking good. Let's uh, water, um, get some water, you know, mist their enclosure down real quick, and we'll even throw some crickets in there. All right, I threw the crickets in. As you can tell, he's got one there. It's going to be hard to find the rest of them, but they're all snacking. This guy here, drinking some water. Oh, One last thing to show you real quick. Here's our egg incubator. Little contraption I made here. And these two eggs are green anole eggs. And they have been in here for a couple days and they're looking pretty good. Nothing bad yet. 
So we're hoping these are gonna be doing good. I think the last time what happened was they just got a little too hot and maybe a little too humid also. So I moved them to a little bit of a cooler area. So yeah, I'm really hoping we get a green and old baby because that would just be so cool to me. So yeah, I think that's gonna about do it for this episode. This is either, ep I believe, episode six of our Breeding a Knolls project. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. And Devin's Reptiles, out. Peace.